everyone. Good morning and welcome to Intermediate 3. We are going to start uh, I3 level with Unit 1. Let's go to the book. Unit 1, Communities. What is meant by communities? Yeah, as uh, most of you might have guessed correctly, communities means societies. Or any, uh, uh, anywhere that you live together with other people, such as your neighborhood. Your neighborhood is a kind of community. Okay. 1.1 neighbors getting on getting on means having good relationship work in pairs and discuss one do you know your neighbors how well do you know them two do you have a good relationship with them why uh, if I want to answer the questions, uh, I, I will say, uh, yeah, I know some of my neighbors yeah, relatively well, uh, but not so well uh, because uh, I'm such a busy guy and I don't have any, uh, any communications with my neighbors. It's so bad, but uh, I don't know most of them and the ones that I know we don't have such close relationship uh, because uh, we don't see each other actually they are busy with their lives we are busy with our lives and uh, we happen to see each other maybe once in a blue moon um, so uh, that's not enough to make such a good uh, relationship you know uh, 2A, work in pairs, match sentences 1 to 6 with opposite meanings A to F. One example is done for you, which is not correct. I'm going to tell you uh, the correct meaning or, or answer, I mean, the opposite. So, number one, I get on well with my neighbor. She is always smiling. So, get on well means we have, a, a she, she or I have a good relationship with uh, my neighbor because she is always smiling. Um, opposite of this is B. Opposite of it is B. My neighbor gets on my nerves. He is always complaining. You know, uh, on the contrary to the first neighbor who was always smiling, this one is always complaining. Uh, get on somebody's nerve means uh, irritate them, bother them, annoy them, make them uh, make them mad. You know. So I get on well with my neighbor. Opposite meaning is gets on my nerves. Number two, it's never a problem if I ask a favor of my neighbors. It's never a problem if I ask a favor or if I ask for a favor. Ask somebody for a favor means ask somebody to do something to you. Uh, you, you are asking for help. And opposite is E. I'm always doing favors for my neighbors. Not only do I ask for a favor, but also I do favors for my neighbors. I help them. Number three, I prefer to mind my own business so I don't ask the neighbor's personal questions. Minding uh, 
one's own business means to uh, keep doing your own uh, works without trying to, uh, you know, getting into people's uh, affairs, you know, trying to uh, be curious about other people's neighbors, uh, you know, who comes, who goes. Now, mind your own business. You know, you focus on what you have to do. I prefer to mind my own business. Opposite is F. I can be quite nosy, so I often ask my neighbors about their lives. Being nosy is quite the opposite of uh, minding one's own business. When you are nosy, nosy comes from this nose. You poke your nose in every pie. You uh, want to understand uh, what goes on everything, uh, everywhere. Uh, you want to understand uh, about your neighbor's personal lives, which is uh, so bad, actually. Nosy. Number four. I sometimes invite my neighbor over for coffee. Invite over means invite somebody to your house. Invite over for dinner, invite over for coffee, for tea. Opposite of number four is D. I like to keep myself to myself so my neighbor hasn't been in my house. Keep myself to myself without trying to uh, make any communication with uh, other people, other neighbors. Keep myself to myself. Next one. Five. My neighbor's dog is a nuisance. He is always barking early in the morning. A nuisance is uh, an inconvenience, uh, let's say, irritation, a nuisance. Now, we'll say, for example, uh, carrying these uh, heavy boxes uh, is a nuisance. Or, I know uh, uh, it's a nuisance for you to carry uh, such a heavy box, for example. A nuisance. Opposite of uh, number five is A. My neighbor has pets, but they never disturb me. They never disturb me. Disturb is a verb to annoy, to bother. Disturbance, the noun form of disturb, is the same as nuisance. Nuisance, disturbance disturbance okay and uh, finally number six we didn't get to know our neighbors for years we didn't get to know our neighbors for years uh, we didn't uh, have a chance or have an opportunity to know our neighbors during years Opposite of it is C. We made friends with our neighbors immediately. We made friends with our neighbors immediately, immediately after we moved to that neighborhood, to that new neighborhood. And um, so they are quite opposite each other. Getting to do something means to uh, be given a chance or an opportunity to do something. For example, uh, she gets to travel all over the country or world uh, with her job. She gets to travel uh, all over the country or world with her job, for example. Or uh, we, we got to meet all the superstars after the show. We got to meet all the superstars after the show. We had 
an opportunity to uh, meet all the uh, all the superstars after uh, the show finished. All right. Uh, which sentences are true for you? So we most often. Uh, I'm talking about myself. I most often keep myself to myself. I mind my own business. Um, but uh, we don't uh, get on each other's nerves, actually. Well, why not? There are some uh, neighbors whose kids are so noisy uh, and uh, you know, they make some disturbances for us, you know, uh, especially in the summer when they are out playing um, and uh, making noises, so they are on our nerves. Uh, but regardless of that, we get on well. We get on well because we don't see each other, you know, uh, most often. Sometimes uh, I see some people have uh, park their cars in, in, in front of our uh, doorway and uh, I cannot move my car so that's a nuisance actually and uh, we haven't invited uh, any neighbor over so far I cannot say uh, and uh, that's it Okay, let's move on to reading part. Talk to your partner about their neighbors and their relationship. We should, uh, why should we love our neighbors? Do you think we should love our neighbor, our, uh, our neighbors? I don't think so. I think we just uh, have to respect each other. That's all. Uh, loving, you know, is quite uh, strange. Why should we love or be in love with our neighbors? Uh, we've got our family. Sometimes, uh, you know, close relationships can uh, uh, change people's uh, lives. You know, men, um, for example, if if you are uh, living in a neighborhood. You know, uh, there is a single boy, there is a single girl, and uh, they, then they get, uh, they, they fall in love with each other. Uh, so, yeah, then in that case, l loving neighbor would uh, result in marriage. So uh, that that's a turning point in people's lives in that neighborhood. But otherwise, uh, I, I don't get why people should love their neighbors uh, for me the key word is respect we have to respect each other uh, are neighbors treating each other as they did in the past uh, we have to admit that uh, the relationship between neighbors is not as intimate and close as it was in the past uh, in the past, people used to uh, share their food with their neighbors. In the past, people uh, used to, uh, you know, uh, share, you know, a lot of things with each other. Uh, I don't know. They they would uh, be informed about, for example, a lot of uh, events that might uh, happen in our house. Uh, but nowadays, no, because uh, the life has changed. You know, this modernization of life has uh, changed everything. You know, especially in the cities and city life, you cannot find neighbors having uh, such close relationship. All right. Uh, you can have your own reasons, you can think, 
about the questions, try to uh, speak about it. Uh, it doesn't matter, you have no partner to talk to, you can uh, talk to yourself. Just like me, I talk to myself, there is nobody around. So, uh, 3B match the words with their meanings. Um, I'm going to read the words first, then match them with their meanings. One peculiar, peculiar, or peculiar, 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 or peculiar. Two, retort, retort. Three, feet, feet. The rest are here. Four, awkward. Awkward. Five. Yield. Yield. Six. Trajectory. Trajectory. Seven. Culminate. Culminate. Eight. X. X. Nine. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Ten. Resemble. Resemble. Eleven. Mutual. Mutual. Twelve. Flat broke. Flat broke. All right. Uh, one. One peculiar. The meaning is I. I is here. Strange, unfamiliar, or a little surprising. Strange, unfamiliar, or a little surprising. Peculiar. Two is retort. Retort is G. Reply quickly in an angry or humorous way. Reply quickly in an angry or humorously way is retort. Number three, feet. Feet is H. Feet is H. An impressive achievement. An impressive achievement. No. A significant achievement, a very important achievement. Number four, awkward, awkward is D, embarrassing, awkward, embarrassing. Number five, yield, yield means Produce a result. L. Yield means produce a result. Six. Trajectory. Trajectory is C. The events that happen during a period of time. The events that happen during a period of time, trajectory, trajectory. For example, the trajectory of your life, uh, the number of events that happen during a period of your uh, a period of time in your life. Trajectory is C. So next one. Seven. Culminate. Culminate is K. End with a specific event. Culminate means end with a specific event. Okay. X. X is J. Dismiss someone. Dismiss. Send out. Expel. Dismiss someone. 
Number nine, vulnerable. Vulnerable is F. Easily harmed or hurt. Easily harmed or hurt. It's an adjective, which means easily harmed, easily harmed or hurt. Number ten. Resemble. Resemble is A. Resemble is A. Look like or be similar to someone or something. Look like or be similar to someone or something. Resemble. Resemble. Next one. Mutual. Mutual. Mutual is B. E, involving both sides. Involving both sides. Mutual. Mutual life, for example. Involving both sides. And uh, finally, flat broke. Flat broke. Flat broke means having no money at all. Flat broke. If someone is flat broke, there is no money left in his pocket or account. Flat broke, having no money at all. Good. Thank you. Let's move on to the reading. Read the text, read the passage, and prepare your summary. I'm going to read it and uh, uh, explain the meaning of the sentences and phrases. Uh, I'm going to paraphrase. Try to uh, have a summary after we finish the studying the reading. Try to uh, summarize it for yourself. And while you're summarizing, uh, if I were you, I would uh, record my voice and listen to it uh, afterwards to see if I have included everything or not, or uh, if I have uh, understood the text. Okay. Uh, so, love thy neighbor. Thy is a, a, a very old word for your love thy neighbor means love your neighbor so love thy neighbor means love your neighbor okay i reflected over the years as what it means to love thy neighbor I reflected. Reflect means one of the meanings of the reflect is to think. I thought over the years as what it means to love your love thy neighbor. I think I thought over the years. I thought for many years uh, that what uh, it means to love your neighbor. When I lived in rural America, outside of Portland, Oregon. This seemed like a much easier feat. When I lived or used to live in rural America, in uh, American uh, countryside, outside of Portland, Oregon. Portland is a city uh, which is located in Oregon. Oregon is a state. This seemed like a much easier fit. This refers to loving your neighbor. Loving your neighbor seemed like a much easier feat. What feat means, if you remember, it means uh, impressive achievement. So what, the, what does it mean? It means uh, when I used to live in, uh, in, in the villages of America, where in, uh, around Portland, outside of Portland, uh we could easily uh love our neighbors uh loving our neighbors uh, could be easily achieved 
Our nearest neighbor lived a few hundred yards away. Our near nearest neighbor. So because you know, uh, uh, in the countryside, uh, around uh, your house there are lands, farming lands, and uh, the uh, neighbors live uh, some yards away, you know, some kilometers away maybe, uh, hundreds, hundred yards away. I would have to walk a mile in any direction to come across someone whom I was not familiar with. So, you know, uh, in the villages, people know each other. You can find, uh, you know, uh, two people from one village who don't know each other, who are not familiar with, with each other. Uh, I would have to walk a mile in any direction to come across someone, it means everyone during that mile away in any direction uh, were familiar with each other. Uh, it was difficult to find someone who was strange, you know. Come across means meet, who, to meet someone whom I was not familiar with. I'm a, I was not familiar with that person. I had to walk a mile you know, that is uh, quite a long way. Now, I settle in New York City and I have no clue who my nearby resident is. Now I settle in New York City. Now I live in New York City and I have no clue. I don't know. I have no idea who my nearby resident is. Nearby resident is someone who lives next door, uh, is your neighbor. No, uh, in New York City, people don't know who they are uh, living you know, near their apartments, houses. My city neighborhood and block are densely packed with pecu peculiar uh, people who aren't willing to know me, don't resemble me, talk like me, think like me, and have no desire to change that fact. So, uh, in my city and neighborhood and block, uh, there are a lot of people you know, are densely packed with peculiar people. The, uh, you know, my city, my neighborhood, and the block that I'm living in is full of is full of strange people. <coughs> Sorry, is full of strange people who aren't willing to know me who don't like to know me, who don't li aren't willing, aren't interested in knowing me, don't resemble me, they, they don't, uh, they are not like me, there is no, uh, uh, let's say, similarity, there is no similarity between us, they don't resemble me, talk like me, they, uh, those people don't talk like me, think like, they don't think like me, and they have no desire to change that fact. They, they even don't like to change this fact. This is true to the extent that I haven't yet caught the names of the couple who are subletting the apartment next to ours. This again refers to the previous description of the neighborhood. I know that the, uh, that the uh, neighborhood, the block is full of uh, strange people. They don't uh, like to know him. They are not uh, like him. They don't talk like him and so on. This is true 
so much you know to the extent that means this is true so much this is so much true that i haven't yet caught the names of the couple i i i uh, haven't uh, had the chance to know the names of the couple who are subletting who are renting the apartment next to ours okay sublet uh, means for example you rent a house or an apartment then uh, you can have someone else live there you know you don't live there you have someone else live there it means that uh, you as a tenant a person who re has rented the apartment uh, have another tenant you don't live there you uh, have another person or other people live in that apartment that you have rented this is subletting but here it means just renting uh, the speaker uh, emphasizes that he doesn't even know uh, the names of the couple who are uh, living or who have uh, rented the apartment next to his apartment. In a nutshell, briefly, to cut the long story short, I'm living in a zombie land. You know, in zombie land, people, there are a lot of people uh, who, uh, let's say, don't know each other. They just, uh, you know, quickly uh, walk along the streets to get to their uh, resorts, uh, to get to their uh, destinations uh, without even having uh, an idea of uh, knowing each other, respecting each other. I don't know, uh, lo loving each other. Some they are just uh, like walking dead. I'm living in a zombie land. Loving strangers must be tough. Loving strangers must be difficult. And sometimes we all, myself included, use that as an excuse to not even bother. And sometimes all of us, including me, myself, the speaker says, uh, use that. That refers to uh, I'm living in a zombie land uh, and loving uh, strangers is difficult, especially this one. Loving strangers must be difficult, must be tough. Uh, people use this idea, you know, they take the idea that loving uh, uh, loving strangers is difficult as an excuse to not even bother to love. You know, they even don't bother. Uh, we say the they don't bother uh, to know each other, let alone love. Why? Because they think that loving strangers is difficult. All right, one day, Brandon, a young but rising DJ in New York, was coming home to his Brooklyn apartment when a homeless woman asked if he could spare some change. All right, one day, a young man, but uh, a young but rising DJ. Rising here means improving. You know, uh, a person who uh, is getting better, is getting improved. A young but uh, improving DJ in New York was coming home to his Brooklyn apartment, apartment that was located in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a neighborhood in uh, New York. Uh, when a homeless woman asked asked him if he could spare. Spare means give something that you don't need. Give away something that you don't need. Uh, if he could spare some change, if he could uh, give some, uh, some some coins, some money, you know, change is the money uh, uh, which is not so, you know, for example, $10, $20, some, some coins. 
for example, when you, uh, uh, you know, when you get around in a taxi and you uh, want to pay the taxi fare, you pay a bill, you give him, uh, you give the taxi driver a bill, and uh, he returns the change. Okay. Or when you buy something and you uh, give a bill, for example, a ten dollar bill. And you receive the change, the rest of your money. So that's not so uh, valuable money. Uh, that homeless woman asked him if he could uh, give away some change, a little money. He said honestly that he was flat broke. He said that he was uh, flat broke. He had no money at all. By the end of the week, until the end of the week, she asked two more times. That homeless woman asked two more times, and each each time uh, that she asked, each was retorted no. What does retort mean? Yeah, a quick reply. To reply quickly, especially in angry way, in an angry way. So each time. He, I mean Brandon, retorted, angrily replied, no. Finally, she frankly replied, finally she. Now, this time, the woman, uh, frankly, honestly, replied him, you better not, because every day you say no. You better not means you are not better than me. If I'm homeless and moneyless, you are not better than me. Because each time I ask you for money, you say, no, I have no money. There is no difference between us. It's important here, we have to pay a bit more attention. Inserting some uh, rational thinking into an otherwise awkward conversation, he proposed, I'm on my way to a job interview. Inserting some rational thinking. Insert means add. Uh, he wanted to add some rational, some logical thought into the conversation. Let's not read this part. Uh, which, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, let's not read this part. Inserting some rational thinking into conversation. And he wanted to add uh, some rational idea to logical idea to the conversation because the conversation was uh, getting uh, irrational. If he didn't want to, otherwise means if he didn't want to do this, that conversation would be awkward, would be embarrassing. Imagine someone asks you for money <clears throat> for several times and each time you say no and uh, the person thinks you are really poor you are uh, poorer than him or her maybe so uh, he wanted to add uh, this uh, rational thinking to the conversation otherwise the conversation would be embarrassing so he proposed he suggested I'm on my way to an uh, to a job interview. I'm going to a job interview. If I get the job, I will take you out for Chinese food. If I uh, get the job, I will take you to a Chinese restaurant. This promise yield a friendship. Yield means produce a result. So we can say this promise of Brandon 
ye resulted in a friendship that neither were prepared for neither neither of them neither uh, the man nor the woman uh, were prepared for they were not ready for this friendship that changed the trajectory of their lives you know uh, that friendship was like a turning point in their lives changed the way of their lives both towards uh, both forwards toward each other so this change of uh, the trajectory this this uh, change in their lives was uh, forward you know a kind of improvement and toward each other it caused they get close to each other this friendship this change in their lives caused a, a very good change they caused their their life to be improved and they got close to each other forwards forward means you know uh, go ahead it means they get improved in their lives and toward each other they got close to each other brandon was a uh, recruited Brandon uh, was employed. They, he, he got the job, but uh, their relay, their friendship didn't just culminate in Chinese food. Uh, culminate means end with a specific event. So after culminate, we mostly have in or with. Uh, but their friendship didn't end in Chinese food. They continued their friendship. They built a friendship of mutual support. They uh, they made a friendship, and uh, they supported each other in their friendship. They supported each other, mutual uh, support, spending their birthdays, holidays, and tough times together. Yeah, they spend their birthdays, holidays, and difficult times with each other over a period of eight years during eight years when Brandon's uh, heater broke she wove him a blanket when Brandon's heater broke means broke down uh, she wove his wove his past form of weave uh, a blanket to keep him warm two days later when Brandon told her that he had been axed axe means dismiss you no know, when he was he, he uh, when he was axed when he was dismissed when he lost his job she vanished vanished means disappeared she went away she went away she vanished returning minutes later and return some minutes later bringing brandon groceries uh, she came back with a lot of groceries grocery is what uh, you know uh, you can buy in a grocery store like i don't know something to eat some food uh, it shows uh, their support you know uh, which went on throughout the winter so this continued what continued uh she brought brandon some groceries and uh, this support continued up to end of uh the winter even with so little she never hesitated to make up for all his kindness even if she could uh, do little to Brandon, she had a little uh, to give to Brandon, she never hesitated, she never stopped for a second, for a, for a I don't know, for a moment. She never hesitated. Uh, you know, when you hesitate to do something, you stop, you want to do something, then you hesitate. Oh, is it good to do? Is it good? You hesitate she never hesitated she never stopped to make up 
make up Miss Compensate for all his kindness. Because Brandon was so kind to her, she wanted to compensate, make his kindness up, you know, make up for all the kindness she he had for her. Over these years, Jackie, Jackie is her name, moved from the streets and subway stations into a halfway house. Uh, Jackie moved from streets she was, because she was homeless, you know, she was, she was living on the streets and subway stations. She moved into a halfway house, a half-built house, a house that was built, uh, you know, uh, it was in the middle of its construction. And is now moving into an apartment. And now is moving into, it means uh, she, she is improving. She's getting better. Her, her life is getting better. To celebrate this occasion, this occasion refers to moving into an apartment. To celebrate this occasion, Brandon wanted to do something special for Jackie. He went with her to Target. Target is name of a shopping center uh, which sells uh, home appliances home devices and helped her to pick out everything she'd need she would need for an apartment that's a big help uh, she had a new apartment and she had to furnish it there was no furniture she has to furnish it furnish it uh, and uh, he helped her uh, to pick out to to buy Everything she would need for an apartment. Starting a registry. This help started uh, uh, from a registry office. You know, when you want to uh, buy a house, this buying means you uh, transfer the ownership from one person to another person. In order to do this transfer, you have to go to an office to change the name of this ownership from this per from person A to person B. Okay, uh, so he wanted to rent or buy a house, and they have to do this. Uh, but they didn't have money. The registry need money, and they didn't have this. Then he set up a campaign. To raise the money to pay for the registry. Set up a campaign. You know, uh, you start the campaign and ask people to uh, donate money, to give away money. Raise means collect, to collect the money to pay for the registry. Along with an awesome video telling their story. So in order to persuade people to give them money, to donate money to them, uh, they uh, produced a video in which they told their story that, um, you know, what happened, they uh, got friends and uh, they, you know, supported each other during these years and now they want to, you know, uh, provide a an apartment for her and uh, she needs money for a registry so awesome means great along with a great video in which they tell their story while their original goal was to raise five hundred dollars the campaign went viral and they have raised more than six thousand dollars so at first they wanted to uh, raise $500 for the registry. Now, uh, the wireless means uh, while. It is, again, uh, old form of while. While, uh, in the first place, they wanted to uh, collect $500. The campaign went viral. Uh, the campaign spread it out went viral, spread it out, 
and uh, they have raised more than six thousand dollars and are now looking to use the extra funding to support other vulnerable women and uh, they are now looking to you know they are uh, they, they want to use the extra money funding means money the extra funding the extra money to support other uh, vulnerable women vulnerable means easily hurt or harmed uh, the women uh, without home homeless women I don't know uh, maybe they don't have family maybe they have I don't know a bad family they cannot uh, leave with their for example partners or husbands so they they try to support these women with the extra money they have that was a nice <coughs> text and story so uh okay this is the end of this story let's move on to next page fill in the blanks with the words in bold in the text he is still over whether to leave or not he is still we are going to use the uh, words the bold words in the text he is still hesitates over whether to leave or not he can't decide if uh, he should leave or stay. Number two, it is one of the mo most viewed viral videos on the web. It is one of the most viewed viral videos on the web. Three, the decision was certain. The decision was certain to affect the of French politics for some time to come. The decision was certain to affect the trajectory of uh, French uh, politics. French politics. Trajectory of French politics. Uh, trajectory means the events that happen during a period of time. Uh, in this sentence, it means the events that happen uh, during a period of time for the French politics. Number four, <clears throat> she is actually very friendly in her own. She is actually very friendly in her own peculiar way, in her own strange way, in her own peculiar way. Number five. My keys were here a minute ago, but now they have vanished. Good. They are not there anymore. Bob put it in a nutshell when he said the, prob uh, the problem was essentially a lack of communication. Put it in a nutshell means uh, briefly said what the problem was. Bob put it in a nutshell when he said the prob what the problem was or the problem was essentially basically a lack of communication <clears throat> number seven many government officials were uh, from private industry many government officials were recruited from private industry i just wanted to check if there are any other words left was left so number seven is were recruited page 39 vocabulary bank let's go to vocabulary bank vocabulary bank oh my god don't have it here. 